learning more about the uh, deadly shooting in Bogalusa. The family of the victim, Jamaria Scott, known as Jada Youngin, they say that he was standing outside of his home on Superior Avenue when someone opened the fire, killing the rap artist. WDS News reporter Shay O'Connor spoke to Scott's grandfather, and he says he wants justice. It's a story you'll see only on 6. There will be no stone left unturned until we found out who took him. L.C. Jefferson says he's devastated at the news that his grandson, 24-year-old Javaria Scott, also known as Jada Youngett, was murdered Wednesday night in his hometown of Bugaloosa. This is only what I hear. Someone came up from behind the house, you know, and with a ski mask on and gunned him down and brought up in daylight on a public road, a, a road that's a busy road. So people have gotten so bold of doing things today because they know or they feel like they won't be caught. The rapper, well known on social media for his song, 23 Island. That song now has more than 17 million streams on Spotify to his grandfather. He was just a kid trying to make it in music. I remember when he first started his music. I remember him sitting out here, two, three o'clock in the morning, him and his cousin writing music. It's sad that at his young age, just when he was really getting things right the way that they should be, that he had to be taken away. The family confirmed Scott's dad, Kenyatta Scott, was also shot. Police say he's expected to be okay. The news quickly spread. Followers showing love online for the slain rapper. Police say they want to find the person responsible and say there's already been a number of shootings in the area since the rapper was killed. A few minutes later, while my officers are investigating this, this scene, we had a call of another shooting across town. Later in the night, a few hours later, we just had a third shooting. Uh, where a house was shot up that we also believe to be related. Police say no one was hurt during the other two shootings. A few suspects have been identified, but no motive or suspect yet in the case of J.D. Youngin. Family members say they hope the community will pull through for them and help to solve the case. In the meantime, Jefferson says he finds solace in the legacy his grandson leaves behind. Looking at him and looking at the way he made his music and looking at where he come from, you know, it gives other people hope. And his music gave them hope, you know, but it's gone now. Shay O'Connor, WDS.